Okay, ladies and gents, welcome. Um, we're gonna go like two times speed for this. This is arena. There's stone walls, right? We usually use this time to talk about things, and well, trust me, we're still gonna have plenty of time, but considering this is probably going to be a fast castle game, figured I'd just speed up the early game. These guys have been chatting already. Uh, we've got John Slow in the blue, and then uh, in the red, we have Muller, who I don't know too much about, um, but I can tell you this is a German player. I'm sure that shocks everybody. And he's around 2K, 2K1. Uh, so this guy, I've been seeing a couple Germans actually. 2K, 2K1 at rank. Closing in on the top, like 150, 200-ish. Which I think right now he'd be just outside of it. But um, this player clearly knows what he's doing if he is here. He's saying that he might not be so comfortable on this map compared to John Slow. Now, John Slow loves his closed maps. Uh, because he doesn't have the speed of other players, but also he would claim it is the best way to play the game. And he is the civilization, which is all the, these crazy bonuses in the early game. So for more open map, bringing in all the food from the Mongol hunt quickly, the 40% bonus there uh, would obviously be very good. But once that hunt is gone, the weird thing with the Mongols is there's no real exciting bonus economically in the later stages. Red, why are you taking this fight, buddy? Okay, Red's going to back away now. So, um, I'll slow it down in a moment. I know it's a little abnormal for me to go at this speed. So, sorry for those that are a little taken back by it. But, you know, I've always found it very difficult with the Mongols to know what to do. Because I love the Mongol late game. But getting to the late game can oftentimes be very tricky. It is rather ironic to speed up games that have John slow in it, I guess. <laughs> and now we're normal speed! And the game's going to feel super slow. But yeah, we'll see what John Slow does to get to the Mongol late game. Can we see Mangadai and Siege Hussars? Or will the Dravidians be able to take advantage of some of their early bonuses? They might not think there's a lot with the Dravidians, but for fast castling, it's actually huge to get the plus 200 wood here. Um, so red has gone up quite early. And we're going to see a market. And we're going to see a blacksmith. And you, oh god, well, you wouldn't be able to afford this normally. Oh god, dude, what's happening? You got this. Red's going to have to add another villager now. Actually, this has screwed up the timings quite significantly. But uh, anyways, long story short, the additional 200 wood is very nice. If you were to not have this civilization, you would have had more villagers in Dark Age to be able to execute this. It takes a while to bring in 200 wood. Market will be a little delayed, as will the blacksmith. And now the TC idle time is going to rise. Red just needs 30 more food, and Red is going to click up to the Castle Age. Red is going to click up to the Castle Age. There we go. John Slow is going to fight for map control in this one. We have the barracks at home, and John Slow already building lots of farms behind this. Apparently saving this farm for later. But this is a really good approach to secure the map and compete for the relics. And it's a common theme with the Mongols or any civilization that has pretty solid scouts. His name is a German wine, so he might be enjoying some himself. Oh, really? So I know the name Muller. I imagine that is qu quite a common German name, Muller. I know, like, Thomas Muller, who's the, um... Is it, it might, I might be slightly mispronouncing it. Muller? Muller? It's, it's probably M more than Moo, right? Uh, anyways, Thomas Muller is a, a freaking legend in football. I don't know how many people watch sports out there. But a uh, really interesting guy, and I think he's still playing for Bayern Munich, right? Played for Bayern Munich, I think, almost his whole career, and did some crazy things in Germany. I also feel like I've seen that name over the years throughout Germany, so very possible that that, that name is very common there. But anyways, Red is going to get plus 200 wood again, right? So you, get, you use the plus 200 wood to get up to Castle H faster. And then you get plus 200 wood from getting in the next age again. It feels really strong in Feudal Age and Castle Age. And I like the adapted build here from Red, who I assume isn't that used to playing a lot of arena games. Because of their conversation at the start. And there's going to be the TC. So, you know, this is what I consider to be kind of the problem, right? In this matchup and in some matchups where uh, the Mongols are up against civilizations that can get a big lead in the boom. When you're thinking Mongols, you're thinking, you know, building castles across them, you know, across your, your stone walls and starting to mass the Mangadai. 
I think John Slow should probably go for some type of adapted build here based on what he sees or does not see. And this is kind of the key, right? We could see that Red is going for just the town centers and no scout control, no spears, anything like that. So John Slow, with his experience, is going to have to look around, determine that his opponent is doing this, and try and take advantage of of the fact that his opponent isn't going for any map control right now. I think it would make sense for John Slow to go for the TCs at home. You know, get a bit more eco rolling because you do have to play catch up there. But uh, I think a forward siege workshop makes a lot of sense here. It's just starting to apply pressure. Uh, someone says Red isn't using his scout at all. Well, I, I think Red knows his scout is weak from the fight before, right? And so Red is actually just going to keep his scout alive. I actually think this is kind of smart from Red if Red is hoping to heal this up. But John Slow invested into additional scouts. He even invested into husbandry. So his scouts are faster and he just wants these relics. So there is still going to be that period of the game where he's going to need to defend from something. And I think the thing that the Dravidians could really do well here is they can go for pikemen and they can move out across the map with pikemen and then you drop a forward castle. And you treb, you use your castle to make trebuchets. And you make trebuchets to obviously take out the castles from the Mongols. And then if the Mongols aren't going for Mangadai, they obviously have siege. They also have some cab they can mix in. But I think the cheap upgrades from the barracks is something you need to take advantage of. What are your roomy swordsmen good for? Just shredding, just shredding everything in melee engagements is what they're good for. Little weak against range units, especially mobile range units. But Yurumi Swordsmen are really good. <clears throat> the, they're a little niche, though, like a lot of infantry units. So listen, I, I'm a good good friend and big fan of John Slows, okay? But he can be a little autopiloty sometimes, right? He's got full map control right now. He knows all the things I'm saying. I need to hold on to these relics for as long as possible. I'm going to need to defend. It feels like this is, especially when your opponent's gold is here and stone is here, it feels like a siege workshop should be coming up in the middle. That's just my feeling if we're talking optimal play. Now, he only has so much speed to work with, so you got to cut the guy some slack. You can't even say I'm being mean to him because it's in his name. Red did move out with the scout there to try and kill the monk, by the way. And uh, scout was still weak from before John Solo's scout killed it, so that's our first kill of the game. And I hope everyone is enjoying this fast-paced arena game. But red, 58 villagers right now. And there is the siege workshop from John Slow. So even if, um, I would say, even if John Slow doesn't stop a castle from going up in defense, it, that's still kind of the point in my eyes is even one mangonel means that it's enough resistance where red has to respect that you have the potential to push and. Red's castle can't be forward. The first one, at least, has to be defensive. I've never had any success with them against anything, 11. You probably don't have enough of them. You probably don't have enough upgrades. But again, it, it it's situational. Like any infantry unit, right? It's like some people are like, I don't have success with longswords. Well, it's like, well, longswords are a bit more situational. The thing about Yurumis is they, they do... Um, like splash damage sort of, right? And they also have a charge attack. And it's just ridiculous. And they're also very cheap. Like a lot of people look at a Yurumi Swordsman and they feel as though they're expecting more from just one of them. Like it's actually pretty pretty easy cost-wise to be able to mass them. Love how John Slow is just using his scouting bonus. He's, he's attacked the gate. And you can see what his opponent's doing. And Red's getting Town Watch right now and I think Red might sense something. So this is where I would like to have seen a barracks already. Even two barracks where you could go for pikes. And like a couple pikemen could clear all this up. Red researches town watch. Red realizes the situation. Red's probably feeling like, oh my goodness, my opponent's going to push me. And John so even tried to attack around the castle foundation there. That would have actually been a sick play. Maybe even game winning, but... This is going to be fun, guys. So like I really like how John Slow's done this. 
A lot of players don't build this Siege Workshop. So if you're going to learn anything from this cast, is if your opponent's giving up map control on Arena, invest something. Because they're going to make mistakes, most likely. They're, things are going to go wrong in some way, shape, or form. Like in this case, Red hasn't added his own Siege, hasn't added Barracks yet. And we might see it. And we might even see your Yurumi Swordsman. A couple of Yurumis could be helpful, but you do need to be careful because John Slow has monks around too. So John Slow, I think realizing this could be a race to imp, he could maybe try and win the Trebor. I think that would be a bit of a mistake. Okay, one Yurumi Swordsman goes forward, and John Slow just has a monk here, and John Slow. <laughs> Not a good showing for our Yurumis here, people. It's just the value John Slow is able to get. And this is Red learning some lessons, right? Like, okay, I needed to have a little bit more map control. I can't run out with one guy. And he, okay, well, the slappy boy is now on the Mongol side. And he is looking away in disgust because his brothers had to die for such a foolish reason. Okay, Red clicks up. Like, I think Red's boom has been fine. I think his, his boom is fine, but... Uh, otherwise, uh, he's just really waiting for these buildings, I suppose, as we see the barracks in the back. And as you guys know, like, balance is hard when you're under pressure. So, I really wouldn't... I, I don't think John Slow needs to go for the forward castle win the Trebor style. He's got five relics. He's got probably the better late game Civ. But he's very comfortable with that style, and he feels as though he's probably up to imp faster. So he's going to do it. If he does lose this game, I do think it's something we have to critique. He's completely surrounded Red here. And Red's castle is there for the taking. John Slow's going to drop a castle in vision of Red's castle. Not much Red can really do about it. Not much Red really attempted to do about it. And Red's dropping archer ranges for what could be elephant archers. It feels like when you're this far behind in map control, you really need something that's incredibly strong. It's still going to be awkward to win the Trebor, obviously. And John Slow adding more Siege Workshops. Oh, it'd be sick if he just goes Rams here. Of course, as I say that, he's going for, for Manganels, but it still could be for the Speedy Siege. So, Capture Age doesn't show the charge attack on a Yurumi. So, I, I don't know if they're ever going to fix it. Like, maybe... I've never told them. I assume other people had told them, but... Like, it's kind of sad that I can't show you the the damage. And I don't actually have it memorized yet, either. But I think it's like 8 plus 6 or something. So, their first attack is stronger. Anyways, Drill could be on the cards for John Slow, but the first thing he does, obviously, is make a trebuchet. There's a white bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the white bar, but it doesn't show the attack, right? So, like, with, with the Custilier, it shows the attack. It does. It's just this 8 plus 0. So, I don't know what the attack is. I actually don't think the white bar recharge works on these units either with Capture Age. But, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to work. There's a lead elephant archer for red. And, you know, like, I think a whole lot could have been avoided with a little bit of army investment. So many players just boom. He's a really good player, clearly. He's got more eco than John Slow. But you gotta take the map. You gotta take the map from the guy, and but John Slow in his sweet spot right now, but he did bring the Treb War to his opponent here. And possibly a concern. I don't think we'll ever see this engage, but I'll I'll see if it does anything. It does plus 12 damage, plus 15 for elite. Wait, the first attack is plus 12 on our Yurumi? Really? It's 8 plus 12 for Castle Age? Oh, man. This is going to be so cool, guys. From Red's perspective, he doesn't see the Siege Workshops, right? So Red doesn't know what's going to be coming here. And there's the drill upgrade. We are going to have the most epic, the most satisfying little choo-choo ever. Because Jon Slow's even cut through the wood line here. He could go any way he wants. And here we go. Siege Ram's still a minute off. But Drill just 15 seconds away. And here come the Rams. And you built up towards Elephant Archer, which could be really strong. But now there's Rams here. And you don't have answers to Rams if you're red. Choo-choo! 
Ooh, there we go. Castle's down. Ram's just speeding on in. Zoom. Going for the siege. Once it's siege ram, the Trebs don't have a chance. But, I mean, that's not the only thing that's not going to have a chance. It's not going to be... You're not going to have buildings anymore. Look at this. Ram's trying to work their way through elephants. They kill the Bombard Cannon. Choo! Choo! Uh, blocking from red. Nice micro. But then you look back here, and now you've lost your siege workshop. You still haven't taken out the castle. Everything is getting trebbed down. And John Slow could have played more defensive. He could have just gone for the defensive castle. He said, give me that map control and give me rams. John Slow loves to have freaking fun with this game as he even clicks heavy scorpion now. This is satisfying, guys. Very satisfying stuff here. Forget Manga Dive, forget Step Lancers, forget Hussars. Just Siege. And it makes sense. Now, it wouldn't have made a, a, that much sense if his opponent had gone for help. But I'm pretty sure he was able to determine his opponent was going for Archers because the Castle Fire had... The Castle shows the attack for range units. So he would have seen the plus four on the Castle. And I guarantee you Jonslo did that. I didn't actually mention that in the moment because... I was too mesmerized by the play. Um, you know, Red's going to try now. Again, clearly a good mechanical player, but a lot has gone wrong. Red still has the population lead and all that, but he's going to make Light Cav now. And again, I think normally you could just go for uh, a whole bunch of Megadai now in combination or, or you know, some Cav. It, literally anything other than just Siege if you're John Slow, but why do that? When you can just permanently population cap your opponent. Look at this. Here, house is going down. Here, house is being built. <laughs> He's taken out so many houses. <laughs> and here come the scorpions. Choo -choo. How do scorpions do? Scorpions do bonus damage against elephants. So I assume that that also applies against elephant archer. You just don't see this as the choice every day. The desperation calves coming in from red. I mean, that's a lot of scorpions, my friend. That ram. Going to town. Ram is the tank for these shots, right? The elephant archers are not attacking the scorpions. Okay, now they are. And, you know, it's going to lead to some units going down on both sides. Red, there's plenty of light cav in Q, but he can't. He's housed still. And he's building houses here. And there's an onager on the other side. He's still population capped. Okay, he's finally figured that out. John Slow is repairing the Treb. Because he just prioritized the siege so much more than anything else. Could easily maybe make a few more different types of units. But nope, we're just going to stick with siege because siege is fun. And he's like, I'm missing more rams, dude. I need this ram to hit the bombard cannon. Well, Treb goes down for John Slow. Do we see him reach the point where he's like, oh crap, I haven't killed this guy yet and make some other things? Doesn't look like it. But, I mean, he's starting to lose scorpions. The light cap mass is growing for red. And he does need to be careful here that he doesn't throw this game. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> I, I wanted to cast this game because John Slow just... There's a way about him <laughs> which is just so unique and so silly, you know, while also being high level and serious, you know, I, I really, some people have a word for that and it, it's clown, but, you know, it, I, I don't like to call arena players clowns too frequently. I think it hurts their feelings, especially since the clown legion clan is no longer a thing anymore. Rip to the clown legion clan. Hey, your roomy swordsman's attacking over here. Let's go. That's how you use your roomy swordsman. Um, castle from John Slow. Ca he's got to be careful here still. Still masking more scorpions. And now Red deletes all of his walls. So we could path a bit better around this. But Dravidians do lack bloodlines. They also lack the final armor on their calves. So not really the best light cap to work with in this situation. So yeah, I, I think he knows it. And he's just thinking more scorpions for me. Red, at what point do you just leave this game and stop stop doing this to yourself? Because I'm not sure how how positive of a thinker you are. Maybe it is the, the, the sweet German wine that is affecting your thinking at the moment. But, you know, it doesn't look like 
it's gonna get much better for you. And red taps out. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many cool strategic things that John Slow does. Again, like, I think there's lots of reasons to maybe just hold that map control and not go for the forward castle. But he was in the Imperial Age faster, and he, you know, added the siege there. And I think if he tries Mangadai, Hussar, any of those things, Elephant Archers, these things are strong. Elite Elephant Archers are no joke. It seemed like a joke, though, in this game because of the siege opening. He just, even before the Scorpions, just having the Rams zoom in there to take out the Trebs in the castle was so nice. Very well executed there from the Arena Pro. Um, I do just want to say this, though, for you, Red. Like, minor adjustments here. Um, I have a lot of casts of the most recent Masters Arena tournament. Minor adjustments. Like, I think before this TC, even, you could just add a barracks and you could start to mass some spears and then you could move out. Like, the idea, at least in my thinking, is is to control the map. And Johnso does this in most of his games, clearly, regardless of civilization, where you control the map and then your first castle is the key to success. And red was kind of like sitting in my walls. Had to make a castle here because of the pressure. Ended up losing this TC because of the pressure. Made a couple of Yurumi that didn't really do much because of the pressure. Just take a little bit more map control. Now, I say it like it's easy. I get it's not easy. And you, you know, but but Red, pretty skilled player, clearly, to get to this point. Play to John Slow. So just fight for the map control in, in some way. I think life will be a little bit easier for you. Uh, 21 and a half thousand resources, or sorry, uh, of food brought in there from Red. John Slow, though, more wood, more gold, more stone, and everything worked up towards the beautiful, beautiful plan of rams. Man, did you did you catch my little accent on that? I almost said it like, I'm a beautiful butterfly. Great movie. If you don't know what that is, shame on you.